Hey guys, what's up? It's Sabi here from Sabi's Life. Welcome to another video. So in today's video, I will tell you about how to apply for short term visa and long term visa for fruit picking jobs in Australia. And at the same time, I will give some information for the employers who wants to hire people from overseas for fruit picking jobs or to work on their farms. So first, what you need to do is go on to this website. The URL address is www.palm scheme.gov.au and this is the website name is Palm Pacific Australia Labor Mobility. So in this website, there is information for the employers who wants to hire people from Pacific Island countries. And there is information for the employees who wants to get fruit picking job and a visa for fruit picking jobs in Australia. So what is the new palm scheme the seasonal worker program swp which is a short-term visa for for nine months and pacific labor scheme pls and this is a long-term visa and this visa is for three years as part of the scheme workers from nine pacific island countries and timor leste can be employed for up to nine months through the seasonal worker program swp and can return in the following years or between one and three years through the pacific labor scheme program to make it easier to become an SWP or PLS employer or both the Australian government has introduced a single application form so if you click on to this link you will go to that form and you start uh, filling out this form if you want to apply for this scheme to hire an employee from those Pacific Island countries so this will simplify the process for new employer to join the scheme at a time when demand for overseas workers is continuing to grow in Australia. In most cases, current eligible SWP and PLS employer will now be able to recruit under either SWP and PLS arrangements or both. For more information, pre please read the mutual recognition frequently asked questions. So click on to this link and the employer who have who have any question in their mind can found the answer onto uh, by clicking onto this link. The SWP for short term seasonal workers. The SWP is managed by the Department of Education, Skills and Employees. It allows low skilled and unskilled Pacific and Timorese workers to work in Australia for up to nine months. This gives employers in agriculture sector and in accommodation sector access to reliable seasonal labor when Australian workers are not available. The PLS for long-term workers, the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade connect Australian employers with low-skilled and semi-skilled workers through the Pacific Labor Facility PLF, which supports the administration of the Pacific Labor Scheme PLS. The PLS allows Pacific and Timorese workers to stay in Australia for between one and three years, give agriculture employers nationally and rural and regional employers in an in any other sector access to labor when they cannot fill the jobs locally the Pacific Island countries who are eligible for this visa are Fiji Kiribati Nauru Papua New Guinea Soma Solomon Island Timor Leste Tonga Tavulu Vanuatu uh, this information here for workers how to apply let's look at to look at this guys how can workers find job in Australia through the seasonal worker program SWP and Pacific labor scheme PL this Pacific Island and Timorese worker can access a range of different jobs in Australia through their government labor sending unit, LSU. All workers can gain valuable skill, experience and income to take back to their communities. If you want to participate, you will need to check your eligibility, contact your LSU and have a valid visa. So to apply for this visa, there is another website you need to go to. But to check your eligibility, you need to contact your LSU and the contact numbers you can find here so under each and every pacific island countries the numbers and email address are written here as you can see on the screen employers eligibility are you eligible to join the palm scheme there are eligibility requirements for employers interested in recruiting unskilled low skilled and semi-skilled worker from pacific island countries and timor leste through the pacific australia labor mobility palm scheme a majority of current seasonal worker program swp and pacific labor scheme pls employers can choose to be mutually 
easily recognized under both program providing they meet the required eligibility criteria for more information please read the mutual frequently asked question so click on to this link and you will find the answer of any questions you have in your mind what you need to become a palm scheme employer you need to answer yes to the following question is your business registered and operating in australia with an australian business number which is called abn or australian company number acn entities must be incorporated in australia or be an incorporated limited partnership Sole traders are not eligible to become Pacific Australia Labour Mobility Palm Scheme employer. So, if you are a sole trader, you are not eligible for this scheme. If your business operates on a labour hire and a end or contractor business model, does it have five years of continuous operation? Does your business have or can it obtain a labor hire license or applicable as applicable is your business an organization for the purpose of migration regulation 1994 does your business have good immigration practice and a history of compliance with the immigration legislation does your business have a history of compliance with australian workplace relation work health and safety legislation and other laws and can you also demonstrate that its directors partners or trustees have a history of compliance with the above laws is your business in sound financial position and can it demonstrate at least three years of financial solvency applicants whose primary businesses is that of a grower may seek an exemption to demonstrate that they are they or related business entity have an established business history so these are the points if you answer yes to all these points you are eligible for this scheme and you can hire employees from the pacific island countries to become a palm scheme employer you also need to consider these questions does your business have labor requirement that cannot be met by australian workers does your business have established employment and workplace policies and procedures does your business understand the welfare and accommodation requirements and have cap and have capacity to provide this support to workers please refer to worker support page for more information about these requirements where in australia are you based to eligible to be eligible for the swp you can be based in any location in australia for the agriculture sector as previously for the accommodation sector you can be based in western australia the northern territory tropical north queensland and kangaroo island this has been expanded to employment in other regional and rural areas throughout australia eligibility for employers seeking to recruit through the pls and swp is based on rural and regional postcodes except for the employers in agriculture sector where there are no postcode restrictions so these are all the postcodes written here for the employers who are eligible for PLS and SWP scheme programs and apply to become a palm scheme employer if you have checked your eligibility and want to become a palm scheme approved employer you can fill out an online application form by clicking on to this link you can also read an information only version of form before you start so read these information by clicking on to this link and this link before you start filling out the form so let's click on to this link how to join the palm scheme the pacific australia labor mobility scheme help australian businesses address workforce shortages with a focus of an employment in rural and regional communities and once you have checked your eligible eligible once you have checked your eligibility complete the single application form to become an employer under the palm scheme the minimum processing time of an application is six to eight weeks after all required documentation has been submitted unless there are exceptional circumstances if you have any question about the content of the form please read this information only version noting you can only submit your application via online form so just bear in mind that this application form is you need to do it online you cannot submit a paper form you need to fill out this form online by clicking onto this link complete the application but before before clicking onto this link
link you need to check your eligibility by clicking onto this link and here if you click onto this one stories so you will find stories from the palm scheme the pacific australia labor scheme is helping australian business address workforce shortage while supporting the economic growth of pacific island countries here you can find a range of stories showing how pacific australia labor mobility is benefiting employers and workers so these are all the stories you can go through in your free time these were all the important information you need to know on this website now i will go on to the website where you can apply where you need to apply for this visa so i've already made a video on short term seasonal work program visa for nine months please go on to the link in the description below where i've made the video of seasonal worker program subclass 403 visa now i uh, go to this one temporary work international relation visa subclass 403 pacific labor scheme this visa stream lets you come to australia to participate in the pacific labor scheme program stay you can stay in australia for up to three years cost is 315 dollars you must be endorsed by the department of foreign affairs and trade to part to take part in the pacific labor scheme you must be invited by an approved temporary activities sponsor to participate in the program your sponsor must be endorsed by the fed to sponsor you let's go on to the details so here with this visa you can work in australia for a temporary activities sponsors endorsed by the department of foreign affairs i have read this to you before you must be a resident of specified pacific island countries i have read this to you before which island you need to belong to to apply for this visa be invited by an australian employer and you need to click onto this apply link to apply for this visa about this visa with this visa you can work for up to three years as i have said to you before how long you can stay you can stay here for one to three years if you want to stay longer you need to apply for a new visa to stay for another three years you cannot be able to extend this visa eligibility requirement eligibility requirement is the same as i have read it to you before that you need to be sponsored and be endorsed by dfat you need to meet health and character requirement you need to have health insurance meet the genuine temporary stay requirement have paid back your debt to Australian government not have had visa cancelled or previous application refused so I hope you find this video really helpful so please make sure to like and comment on uh, on all your socials by using hashtag Sabi's life and I will see you in my next vlog thank you bye